Hello Chamber members, our annual meeting is has come and gone. Yes. And we want to congratulate all of our winners. It was a very exciting evening, That's but right. ooh, it was a big night. It was. It was a big night. So congratulations to our Small Business of the Year, Simply Chic Boutique. Our Business of the Year, Bojo Parish Community College, and our Business Person of the Year, Bo Hayes from Bojack's Craft House. So congratulations. Yes, congratulations. We are so appreciative of everything that you do for our community and our business community. Great representatives. So now, Lisa, yes. the work begins. Our year begins. <laughs> it, it really does. Yes. It has all started, and it started with me being in D.C. last week for um, the Washington Mardi Gras festivities, but many of you may not realize that we actually go up there a few days early before those festivities begin so that we can do appointments on the hill. Right. And so I work um, very closely with uh, the Bossier, uh Parish Police Jury mm -hmm. and Cyber Innovation Center and the city office and all to make sure that um, we are a part of their appointments to be able to help uh, sell and uh, talk to our congressional delegation about the needs of Bossier Parish and Bossier City. Right, so that's, this is the first of your three trips in the year. That's right. You always I'll be back in about six weeks. Yes. Five to six weeks back in D.C. for another set of appointments and a fly-in on the Hill. Right. So those are very important times that Lisa goes up to D.C. to talk about issues in our area, but also affecting your business. And so this is really just going to be yeah. an all-advocacy video, so just be prepared. So. Uh, yeah. So to just kind of give you an <laughs> idea of some of the folks that we met with uh, last week, of course, we met with all of our local delegation. We were able to um, see some of the uh, representatives from uh, the governor and the governor's office and, and the like. And uh, I was able to participate in a briefing with White House officials on uh, Opportunity Zones and the Re Revitalization Council. So that was really... Super uh, cool. Super cool, but great information, great economic development opportunities um, for our area and for our region. And then um, the two parishes uh, partner and come together, and the chamber assists with that in hosting a business reception, dinner and reception. And um, that night we had secretaries that came um, from the big agencies. The new speaker of the house the, for the stay. Yes, and we had four generals um, there. Oh. So the military and bark stills, obviously, still a real big uh, issue priority right. for us. So it is it is a working trip. Yes, just so you know. Just so you know. <laughs> so in the advocacy realm, we'll be sending out an email on Thursday to ask you what issues are important to you for this coming year so that we can prioritize those as Lisa continues to work in the realms of public policy. <clears throat> and then in February... Have a lot going on. We're we going to do a pre-legislative breakfast on February 19th, and so that just hit the store today. Yes. And so if you want to come here, all of our local legislators have been invited so that they can kind of give mm -hmm. us a preview of what they expect to make as their priorities for the session. And, and they're all um, saying that they're coming. So as of right now, I've got about six that are confirmed yeah. to come to share with us uh, what uh, they expect with this new re-elected administration and all of the new members that have been elected in the House and the Senate. And this year is um, not a fiscal year, so it's one of our longer sessions. It's going to start on March 9th. And what I would like to share with you, since this is really an area that I work in very closely, is that we're within six weeks of the session starting. So if you, as our business community, have some issues that need to be addressed, any bills that you would like uh, to be considered, to be authored by any of our local legislation, now is the time for you to contact them and let them know what are, what are those needs that you have within your business. And so we've updated on our website, Lisa has, all of our um, officials as people have um, gone through the election process and <clears throat> some districts have changed and so all of that's on our website yes if you need that information and we can drop that link below so we'll also just be hosting some uh, meet and greets in the office with some newly elected legislators as well and so we're just rolling yes so um we have a, a meet and greet with our newly elected uh, senator uh robert mills and a newly elected representative uh uh, Thomas, Thomas Presley. Mm -hmm. So we have those coming up as well so that we can uh, get to know them and they can hear what our priorities are 
uh, for the business community. That's right. So, in other words, we're hitting the ground running on 2020, mm -hmm. and advocacy is kind of at the forefront since sessions start so early. Yes. And so, if you have any issues or questions that you have, you can drop those below. You can send us a message. You can send an email and let us know. So, that's really about all we have for today, but I think it was a lot. So the last thing that I want to encourage you to do is that be involved, be engaged in the advocacy part in public policy because you cannot assume that our elected officials know what is needed for you mm -hmm. and what is a good pro-business decision. So they want to hear from you and if you can't, uh, you don't know how to get in touch with them, you can go through us and we can assist you with that. But the number one thing for you to do is to be engaged. Mm -hmm. And you can follow our Twitter as session begins. I know that's yes. still six weeks out, but we will be retweeting a lot of information during the session, and that's really where we post our, our most updates in, when it comes to public policy. So watch us there. So we're looking forward to it. Let your voice be heard.